Hello, everyone. Hey, this is Pastor C. Listen, I hope you're doing well, having a great week. Listen, whether you found this video in the morning time, the noonday, or the evening, I hope that you're having a blessed day and a blessed week thus far, and that you're excited about living, excited about the Lord, excited about life, and being able to share and demonstrate the message of faith, hope, and love with whomever God brings in your uh, your path. Listen, I want to share with you a little bit about uh, this past Sunday service. Listen, we had an awesome time in the service. God moved in a uh, unusual and a unique way. It was very different in our service this past Sunday. And I tell you, it is one that I will remember for a very, very long time. It's a good thing we have it all recorded because I can always go back to it and see how God moved in our midst. Listen, I don't know what it was, but uh, the Holy Spirit uh, uh, flowed in such a way where it, we, we, we broke out in, in, a, in, a, in an attitude and a spirit of prayer and meditation and, and praying in tongues and just praying for, with one another. And it was just exciting to see uh, uh, the move of God in our midst in, yes, in a high school uh, auditorium or commons area, it was just, no matter where you are, when the body of Christ comes together as one, unite, as, unite their hearts as one, there the word of God says, he is in the midst, he inhabits the praises of the people, and he says in a word where there's two or more gathered in this name, there he is in the midst of them, and I tell you, his spirit was definitely there. So listen, if you missed this past Sunday service, listen, I want to invite you to come out with us and worship with us on Sunday morning, Shallow High School, we meet in the commons area out there in Snellville, Georgia, and it's 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 just uh, what can I say? It's just unique the way we do service, the way we have our worship experience, the way God moves, the way uh, uh, God moves through 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 the song and through the people, through the worship, through the fellowship, the joyful praise, and the exalted worship. It, it just makes for a unique and special worship experience. And I know other churches have their own unique and special work experience, worship experience, but I'll tell you, when you come to Christ's Messengers, because of the authenticity and, and the uniqueness of our ministry, you will know that you had a visitation with God and you will leave there feeling that you did exalt God in the place on that morning. So listen, come out and worship with us and we encourage you. So this past Sunday, I also had the opportunity to share with uh, the people on under the title, God Is. I opened up a, a series last Sunday, a, a two-part series where I share with with uh, everyone that we all need God to be something. We need God. Some people need God to be a healer. Some people need God to be a deliverer. Some people need God to be a way maker, need to be a financial breakthrough. And what we have to understand and, and believe that we have to go beneath a, a surface level of knowledge uh, of what God can be and what God is and go to a deeper knowledge, experiential knowledge where we can understand that God can be everything or he is, already is everything that we need for him to be. We just need to learn how to tap into that. So for the first part of this series, I, I kind of like the basis for uh, God's isness, as I call it, the, uh, the isness of God. The Word of God tells in, in Exodus 3, 14, 15, when Moses, or 13, 14, when Moses asks uh, uh, God, who do I say to the children of Israel that is sent me? He says, tell them that I am that I am, and that is my name, and I will be known by that name I am, which simply means to exist. Uh, so we know that God, we learned this past Sunday that God is self-existence and he's self-sufficient. And also the Bible presents God as being a transcendent God, an omnipresent God, an omnipotent God, and an omniscient God. So when you take all these attributes together and you look at how you may need God to be this way one day and this way another day, God possess everything within himself in order to be that that type of person or that person that you need for him to be. So if you need God in your life right now to be a healer, listen, you just believe with all your heart that God is a healer. And when you believe that God is a healer, then God can be a healer in your life. When you believe that God can be a healer in your life, then you know that God will be a healer in your life. Listen, right now in the name of Jesus, God, I just pray right now for God, those who may be watching this video, uh, this weekly message, God, that they will be touched by the word so that I'm saying, God, as you give me direction, God, uh, to let the people know the God that you is, God, that you will be that what you will be and that you are what you are, God, that you need no one else, nothing else to complete you because you are self-existence. And God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask that, God, that you would touch the lives of those who are watching, God, and God, minister to them to their need, God, and give them the peace and the comfort they need to know, the clarity, God, they need to know in order to, to carry on this Christian journey. So and we pray this in Jesus' name amen so i want to believe look, believe i believe with you whatever it may be i believe that god is that and you know we have to live that life so 
Coming up this coming Sunday here, we're going to uh, continue our series on God Is, and I'm going to share with people, with the family from the Word of God, under the subject of, for part two, living in the reality of God Isness. See, we 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 can know what the Bible presents to us as God being the I am, the great I am. He can be whatever we need him to be, anything, every, everything to anyone and anywhere. But we have to learn how to live in the reality of God is. And there's some things that we have to do as people, as Christians, as believers, to help us live. And when I say live, that means live to the fullest in the reality that Christ is and God is, and we'll be able to live in that reality, man, God, we're going to be able to see things happen in our life. God will become more than just a, a person that we call on in times of need. He'll be something to us that every day of our life we see that God is everything that we need. And I just want to encourage you all, listen, come out and worship with us on Sunday morning. Uh, we meet in the Commons area of Shallow High School in Snellville, Georgia. You, listen, you will not regret coming and worship with us. No matter where you are in the Metro Atlanta area, if you're finding this message on YouTube and you happen to be in the area, come out and take a drive. Listen, we're off of Highway 78. Uh, if you just take take 285, eventually make it to Highway 78 and just come on straight down and then come into the city of Lilburn and make a, a left, right turn on Ross Road, make a left turn on Shallow Road, and there you go, the Shallow High School. Come to the main bus entrance, uh, and we'll be there ready to receive you. Also, this coming Sunday, we have an, our youth service every fifth Sunday of the month. Our youth comes into our, the main sanctuary, and they're able to bless us in song and different things to express their their worship and their love and their and their gratitude and appreciation to God. So this Sunday also, the youth service, they'll be holding worship for us uh, and whatnot, and we'll continue our series on uh, uh, God is. So listen, have a great week. Remember, God is, God can be, God will be. He is self-existent, self-sufficient, transcendent, omnipresent, omnipotent and omniscient and because of those attributes as the bible presents god we know that god can be anything that we need him to be god bless you